Today is Gandhi Jayanti. I am very happy to be here at the Indian Consulate General in Frankfurt and give a short address to the community here. I am particularly uh, interested today to point out the relevance of Gandhi in Germany today. It happens to be the end of the 150th birth anniversary of Gandhiji. At the same time, tomorrow is the 30th anniversary of German unification. And as we all know, German unification happened 30 years ago through entirely non-violent means. And it was the hand of Gandhiji which worked here in Germany 30 years ago and make this great dream of the German nation possible to unify. And today uh, I read in the newspaper large commentary about the success as of course also the weaknesses of unification and I am happy to celebrate both of these events today here at the Indian Consulate General in Frankfurt. I am myself have encountered Gandhiji since my 18th birthday when I was drafted to the army and at that time military service was compulsory but you could uh, also reject military service if you had a good reason. You had to be in front of a tribunal of the defense ministry, had to explain your reasons and then you could do an alternate service in an old age home, in a hospital, etc. And I opted to do that. And in front of the tribunal of the German Defense Ministry, I quoted Gandhiji and got through right immediately at the first instance. Since then, Gandhi has been a kind of watchtower and I am happy to say that I have collected, translated, collected three volumes of Gandhi's writing in German language, which came out in several editions over the last 40 years. I've stayed in India continuously since 47 years. I'm right now here at this time of the year because of the the COVID-19 <laughs> infections. I have to stay on a little more until everything has quiet down. And I would be happy to be back in India among my friends, among my family in a symbolic way as soon as possible. Thank you.